As a tribute to the slaughter of Theresa May's plan in Parliament, I feel I need to mark the occasion. I have decided to honour the occasion by demolishing another Ramona myth by using their very own evidence, logic and rules. During the lead up to the Leave vote, scaremongering stories were circulated which stated that in the event of a Leave vote, then dire consequences would befall those former UK citizens residing in EU states. In effect, creating a questionably legal hostage situation. Now there is a thought that just occurred to me. If the UK citizens in the EU zones come to any harm which was instigated by the individual states, would this be a case for the European Court of Human Rights? Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. I want to run with the hypothetical situation for a moment, so bear with me. Say we have reached an impasse on the 29th of March, and it is a no-deal Brexit, or Brexit as I like to call it. Then the countries of the EU all decide that the UK expats who have bought houses in Spain or are paying tax in France are now illegal. What is their next move? Eviction? Expulsion? Imprisonment? If any of these routes are taken, then those people can still go to the European Court of Human Rights and say that they are being unjustly persecuted for their background. I can state the European Court of Human Rights as it is not part of the EU. It is independent and the UK will still remain part of that body after Brexit. I say background because I've noticed in all the anti-discrimination and diversity documents that companies ask employees to fill in, it specifically asks what your background is. So what we would have is a group of people across the EU being discriminated against due to their background. How would that not make the EU look dictatorial? What is also to be considered is that a convention of rights was decided not because everyone agreed that genocide was bad. They were decided as an agreement between states that we won't do these horrendous things to you if you promise never to do it to us. If the EU does anything, then that will give other jurisdictions free reign to say, well if the EU can do this to UK citizens, then it's okay for us to do something similar to insert minority here. Anyway, let's go back to the myth busting. Let's say for the sake of argument that all the expats or students or workers within the EU all were deemed illegal on March 30th then I will show you why there will be absolutely no problem. Of course there are going to be EU citizens who react angrily to the suggestions from the past 5 seconds of footage I just showed, but of course they are just bigots who do not care about the suffering of illegal immigrants. Mm -hmm.